my name is Elisa and welcome back to my channel All You Can Eat with Elisa. Today we're going to be making a charcuterie board with some of my favorite cheeses and meats and to bring it up a notch I thought it would pair well with a little bit of a fancy grilled cheese sandwich. Before we start assembling all of this I thought that we can just start making the grilled cheese sandwich. We'll put it aside, get all of the board together and then we will pan fry this at the very end so it stays nice and warm. So let's begin. I've got some fresh country French bread that I picked up from the grocery store yesterday and I'm just going to butter each side of it. Okay, I have my butter. Um, I've got Havarti cheese. Oops, I've got Havarti cheese, some white sharp cheddar and some provolone. So I've got three different cheeses I'm gonna put in here. Choose whatever bread you like. Another bread I was trying to find, but I had a hard time finding. I think like an, a bread that has like nuts and some like cranberries would have been nice because it kind of is like, it goes along with the rest of the ingredients that we're gonna put on the board, but couldn't find it. So I ended up just doing the, uh, the French bread that I found. And then I have fig butter. I also found this apricot preserve. I think they will really pair nicely as well, but I'm going with the fig butter for the actual grilled cheese and then I'm going to probably put the apricot preserves as a side over here for for those that like that note to eat with the, the rest of the board. Fig goes so well with cheeses. It's really sweet. Uh, if you buy the fig butter, it has a little bit of like the little crunchy like light airy texture almost from the seeds but it just gives it another just depth of texture and really brings out the cheeses too. I'm not going to cook this quite yet because I want to assemble my board and I want this nice and warm at the very end so we are going to go to assembly mode. So I've got a few different cheeses. I like a mixture. I like more hard cheeses and I have a soft cheese. I have a brie as well, but whatever cheeses you like. A little wedge of brie. For those of you that never had like fresh honeycomb, I think the honeycomb pairs really well when you're just, I mean, honey and cheese go well, but then like the sweet notes with the, the salty meats I like too. Okay, the grilled cheese is done. It's hot, it's melty. We're just gonna cut it up. Oh, you guys, look at that. Okay, I wanna cut them up in like smaller pieces to put on the board. And you can see a lot of this oozing out right now. Oy, oy babe. This, you guys, oh my God. I just wanna eat it right now. Look at that. It's a lot of cheese action. And then you have like those, the, the fig, you could see the figgy goodness. Can we just do a cheese pull right here? Right, like does it even stop? Because it's in its most delicious form right now, I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, the fig, 
butter is key. Because the cheese is already so like delicious and like rich and salty. But then the fig, the sweetness, it kind of cuts down on that um just the the heaviness, the 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 fattiness of the cheeses. And so and it it's so delicious. I would I'm really glad I did the fig butter. Fig butter you can find at Trader Joe's. Or wherever you can like look in like the hard cheese sections, there's usually some kind of like um cherry or pepper jelly that pairs well with all these different cheeses so check it out put it in your grilled cheese sandwich it's delicious and that's a wrap i'm starving so i'm gonna start eating my way through this charcuterie board i'll probably slice up the rest of this stack it on top but that's it it's super easy i hope you guys try it check it out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the like button thanks guys bye Put it in your grilled. Put it in your grilled cheese sandwich.